We have a front wheel drive Chrysler 3.8 liter. We're gonna go through the steps in replacing the water pump. If you have a 3.3 liter, the replacement procedure is exactly the same. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system properly flushed and drained, we'll begin the repair by removing the negative battery cable. On the passenger side of the vehicle, remove the lower splash shield to gain access to the water pump pulley. With the drive belt still in place, loosen the three water pump pulley bolts. Remove the accessory drive belt. Remove the three pulley retaining bolts and remove the pulley. Remove the five water pump retaining bolts and remove the water pump. As you're removing the pump, be sure and capture any coolant that may leak from this area. Thoroughly clean the gasket surface area on the block before installing the new pump. Depending upon your application, there may be some slight differences in the water pump, such as the drive pulley hub, a weep hole as opposed to a weep well. These will not affect the installation of the water pump. For ease of installation, we'll use a slight amount of silicone sealant in three locations to hold the O-ring in place. Because it's an O-ring type seal, we will not need to apply sealant to the entire gasket surface. Install the water pump into location and tighten the retaining bolts to 105 inch pounds using a crisscross pattern. It's not necessary, but it's also a good idea to apply a small amount of anti-seize to the thread area. Install the pulley retaining bolts and torque to 250 inch pounds. Be sure and inspect the drive belt to make sure it's not broken or cracked in any way that would hinder its reuse. Before installing the lower splash shield, be sure and install the belt into its routing position. Making sure the wear indicator is within specification. With the repair complete, we'll reattach the negative battery cable. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle with the cabin heater on high. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature. Once the engine has reached operating temperature, Check the coolant system for any leaks. Okay. At this point, shut the engine off, allow it to cool fully, check the pressure tank, and top off the coolant as needed. 